Good Saturday morning, everybody, from the F News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick, awaiting a big day today in downtown. Perfect weather for outdoor activities. No problems being seen at this point in time. We're referring to, who, of course, the opening of Big River Crossing. It's going to be happening from the time we record this just a few uh, uh, hours from now. The actual public crossing will be taking place about 1 o'clock this afternoon. People are already starting to gather in and around the area downtown around Channel 3 Drive, Church of the River, and the Bridge Trio, so it should be a good view down that direction. We're also awaiting, it's about 9.15 when we tape this, uh, about 9.30 or so expected to get news of Steam Locomotive, one of the last Union Pacific made steam locomotives. The Living Legend, number 844, will be rolling across the tracks and making its way toward Big River Crossing and will be on display in downtown Memphis. If you'd like to see more about that, check out my Facebook page and information at WR reg.com so you can find out more about what things look like down there but otherwise a great picture for the day as big river crossing the bridge pedestrian bridge finally opens up down there we're seeing again some great forecast information temperatures much different today back in the 70s lower 70s for highs and back into the 50s for later on tonight in the green triangle down there winds will be picking up out of the southwest by just a little ways so again it'll be a little breezy into tomorrow morning so maybe some wind chills coming up we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit complete forecast update we'll give you that in just a little bit right now a quick forecast for you as we go into the next few hours view from Windy Country Club in the background and temperatures rising into the lower to mid 60s as we go into the course of the rest of the morning. So seeing again some very quiet and dry conditions out there. Not seeing much green out on the links because of the fact that we've got some very dry air across the Mid-South and we'll continue to see some dry air out there. That's going to increase the wildfire danger throughout the weekend. Temperatures back in the lower 70s by the time we hit later on today. 46 our low temperature yesterday. 67 the high temperature well below normal for this time of the year which is a far cry from what we saw just a few weeks ago into the last couple of weeks weekends have been very much on the hot side we would have been pushing a record high 88 degrees set back in 1953 28 the record low set back in 1952 just a year earlier shows you what a year's difference can make in and around the area dry as can be we're still behind for the month we've only picked up 1.2 inches we need 2.6 to be normal and that means we're 1.4 below normal for this time of the year we picked up 10 inches for the year above normal and again that's good news for the entire year Year, but that's spread out over the year. We've got a good surplus back about February and March, and now we're going to be looking at a big deficit for not only late August, but all of September and a good portion of October. So we need a lot more rainfall to alleviate the, the current wildfire situation out there. Rest of the day, temperatures again doing pretty good as we get into the rest of the day we're going to be increasing as we get into around the late afternoon hours mid to upper 60s to lower 70s across much of the area and then fairly nice as you head out on the town later on tonight but be prepared for a chilly finish as you get back home again as temperatures by news channel 3 at 10 will be in the lower to mid 50s and then by tomorrow morning we're not only going to be seeing some very cool temperatures out there we're also going to be seeing the winds starting to increase and coming up from the southwest and that's going to be again pretty breezy into early tomorrow morning especially with some numbers dropping into the mid to upper 40s so if you have any plans for going outdoors tonight and into early tomorrow morning definitely want to prepare for that as you can see that as we get into tomorrow morning some temperatures into around northeastern areas of our of mississippi and quite possibly into around southwest tennessee and the more rural areas eastern arkansas as well we could be looking at temperatures easily back down into the lower 40s now combine that with a decent amount of wind out there and we're talking wind chill territories out there so definitely want to be prepared for that 70 degrees our high temperatures today expected lower 70s dry and sunny throughout the rest of the day mid to upper 70s tomorrow national weather service in noting the increased danger of wildfires in the mid-south and that's something we're really going to have to watch out for red flag fire alert have not heard anything about that at this point in time but we will be watching that carefully mid to upper 70s and dry for monday as well and also looking again at fairly mild conditions into the rest of the last full week of October, back around 80 by Wednesday. We may see the possibility 
of some showers and thunderstorms late Wednesday night into early on Thursday morning. But once again, it's a very minor chance, 30% at this point in time, and that's going to be about it. So chances of anything involving rainfall limited at best, and that means our wildfire danger is just going to get worse across the area. So anything involving flame outside, you need to be very careful with what's going on out there. So please use caution and common sense. Halloween for the ghosts and goblins looks pretty good. No problems at all. Not too hot not too cold, no severe weather, no major amounts of rainfall, no problems at all from right now. So looking good for wearing the costumes out there because we all know how uncool it is to be Darth Vader and carrying around an umbrella. Thanks to Steve Weeks for sending in a report of 35 degrees in McNary County for early this morning. Deborah J54, as usual, another great sunrise picture from around Humboldt. And Paul Stackpole talking for a lot of people, I would guess, applauding the departure of summer heat and welcoming the lower temperatures with a temperature of 40 degrees at his home in Cordova, Tennessee on Twitter this morning. Twitter.com slash Aonic underscore WREG3 also on Facebook, also on Instagram and as soon as I get this Snapchat thing figured out, I'll be letting you know more about that. Tune in for the forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network and don't forget about our weather app. Search WREG Weather for whatever phone system you have at your particular app store. If you're looking for more information about what's going on with Big River Crossing, head to my Facebook page. Tons of information here about Steam Locomotive 844 heading across the river hopefully relatively soon. It should be on its way at this point in time. Not seeing anything yet. Ribbon cutting will be at 11 o'clock this morning and the public will be able to get on the bridge at 1 o'clock this afternoon for the grand opening. So good opportunity to go down there and see that. And the train will be moved from where it stops at Big River Crossing to 3rd and Carolina Street. So a good opportunity to see more about that train coming on through the area before it continues on its tour. If you want to follow that on Twitter, all you have to do is go follow UP underscore steam and you can find out more about this particular locomotive heading through. Again, that's underscore UP steam if you'd like to know more about this or follow their pro their progress through the Mid-South area. Again, should be heading over the river relatively soon. I'll keep you up to date on things tomorrow, but as of right now, I'll be heading to the Bandmasters Cop competition tonight as my daughter Emma, a senior at Houston High School, will be participating for the last time with the Houston Marching Band and good luck to them tonight and everybody in the competition. I'll be having more tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak and throughout the rest of Sunday, so stay tuned for that. Todd has your evening forecast, and Tim Simpson's on at 10 o'clock tonight, so stay tuned for more there. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Hope you have a great and safe weekend as we go throughout the rest of the weekend. Please keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for the latest weather information.